Hello everyone. I want to present a message to you that uh, changed my life and I know will change your life also. If you can get the meaning, the vibration, the feeling behind the words I'm about to say, I guarantee you it will completely change your life. Now, as I read it to you, you'll probably think it's funny because it's so simple. You'll think, well, I know that. Uh, but let me go a little deeper. And I'm going to do these teachings in uh, just a few short segments. So um, please stay with me through this first one, at least to the end. And, um, and give me a chance to explain this. Cause I, as you first hear this, I don't want you to shut me out because uh, there's a lot behind the words. What it is, is good is good, bad is bad. And I, I know you're thinking, duh, I know that. Um, but uh, the meaning behind that has gotten lost. Um, there's a saying that how uh, soon the priests become enemies of the prophets because they change the original message of the prophet to uh, feed to the masses. And uh, as other communities come together and uh, merge, they'll take bits and pieces of the different religions and, and put them together so that everyone can live harmoniously and uh, living harmoniously is good but the problem is when you mix uh, or attempt to mix because it's actually impossible which I'll get into but good and evil uh, the two cannot combine and uh, that's why I'm taking you back to the original monotheistic religion Zoroastrianism um, it's what Judaism Islam Christianity all branched off of and sometimes you have to go back to the original to see the uh, pure intent of it and the one thing that Zarathustra uh, his main message was that God is good. As a matter of fact, the, the name good and God were intertwined. You could use one or the other. Uh, so which might make you think in your day-to-day -day life, when you call something good, you're calling it God. And is that really God? Is that really good? Um, and so uh, what has happened is uh, people have taken uh, God and, and uh, gave him attributes that are not his. For instance, um, killing, war, making him out as a, a god of war, um, just things that are impossible for the highest principle of good, cannot be jealous, cannot repent for something he did, uh, cannot, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You've heard the stories. And um, it, it brings confusion. And uh, it's kind of what brought on this video was a good friend of mine. Uh, he said something along the lines of, I guess we'll never know till we get to heaven. But the truth is you can know. Uh, God is speaking all the time. You just have to tune in uh, to his voice, to that vibration. I have a prophetic gift. And um, I always felt a special sense as a kid. I can hear clearly from God. I can see the future. Um, I know things before they happen. Uh, but as I'm finding, that is a natural thing. That is something even you or anybody can tap into because we're all made by the same Creator, by the same God. And He's put in us an innate knowing uh, of Him, of truth, of life, of love. And uh, we can tune in to his voice anytime. He, he's so close, you know, really, we're always looking out for him. He's in us. That divine spark, that good mind is inside of us, and it's inside of you, and you know it. And uh, I don't want to get off under my rant on priest, uh, but you've been taught that you have to go outside of yourself. You do not have to go outside of yourself. You can look within and you will see God and you can live a beautiful, a perfect life the way he created it, which the Zoroastrians call Asha, truth, the highest truth, heaven on earth, if you will. And that's what we were designed to live in. And that's why you're never uncomfortable, or you're never comfortable uh, living in sin, living in error, living in sickness, living in poverty, living in lack. You, you can never get comfortable there because you are a child of God. And instinctively, you know that there's more for you. When you get sick, it's an injustice to you. It does not feel right to you as a child of the king. And uh, when people... Uh, uh, enslave you or try to take away your power or um, it's something just rises up in you. No, th that's not who I am. And so I want to share with you uh, this original monotheistic religion, Zoroastrian. As well. There's only 200,000 followers these days. It's disappearing quickly and I feel we have an obligation uh, to get this message out to the world because it's life changing, it's world changing. If everybody grabbed their mind around these words, it would change the world. It would bring 
world peace. Um, because if you uh, know who your God is, and He's all good, He doesn't war, He doesn't hate, He doesn't kill, and you, you model your life after that, well, guess what? You don't have to lock your doors at night anymore. Uh, you don't have to worry about people stealing from you, hurting from you, cheating you, because you're living that perfect model. The problem with most religion is their highest idea of God is, is a mixed God, that he does good sometimes, he does bad sometimes. And they have words for, oh, he's just being just, or he has to punish, or, it, no. He is good all the time. He's always good. He's always love. Now let me teach you something. Uh, two columns, I call it. In the right column, put all the attributes of God. Love, life, peace, joy, kindness, mercy. You know all the good instinctively. And then in the left column, put the evil spirit's attributes hate, murder, pride, jealousy. You know evil instinctively. You know inside, uh, without anyone ever having to tell you, that slavery is bad and freedom is good. It takes about one minute in slavery to have uh, a, a need inside of you to be free. It's instinctive in all of us. And so, I'm going to take you to Zoroastrian text, that good is good, and bad is bad. The original word of the good religion is that all good comes from the Creator and that no evil comes from Him. From this original word is the spiritual world made straight and the material world brought into order. The original word of false religion is that evil comes from the Creator. And this false idea is all the evil creatures suffer. I want to explain to you that God is all Good. No matter what stories you've heard, what ideas you've had, what someone that said they represent God has told you that is different from that. That's the original word uh, of Zarathustra, that God is all good and no evil comes from him. Now, over time, as religions started to spring out of that original idea, they started having other ideas like a warring God and a God that judges. And they used it for control of the people and but what they don't realize is when you let the people be completely in God in good and who he really is they will emulate that and it'll change the world uh, I'm reading out of Asha uh, that's the Zoroastrian name for truth and uh, as they say the truth will set you free and I love this passage here there's nothing for me outside. I have spent too long looking outside myself, looking for meaning, purpose, affirmation, approval, love, truth, happiness, and God, just to find myself ever searching. So I quiet all the many thoughts, ideas, and stories. I go inside, and there I see Soshans, Jesus, and I realize there's no separation from my God. We are one. The truth and happiness I was looking for, it is here now. I am that. I am, and now that you know this, it is, good is, and God is. I'm going to teach you a little something to leave you with, and it's it'll change your life. And I don't know if you know this, but uh, the Magi, they were the Zoroastrian priest, and the word magic uh, originated from Magi. And um, it says, think of this as a prayer, if you will, or a mantra. And the idea behind it uh, is that what you hold in your mind, what you truly believe, is what manifests into your world. So I live in God. God is good. God is omnipresent. That means my good is omnipresent. My God is here now. My good is here now. If you want a good life, if you want a, that magic, that miracle, that the next day you wake up and you believe it and your life is good, you live in health. I want you to picture yourself as God's energy in you. And if God is in you, God can't get sick. If your energy and God's energy are the same, then your energy cannot get sick. You live in God. God lives in you. I want you to wrap your mind around it. I want you to picture sickness and disease dying when it touches you. It better find somewhere else to live because it will not thrive in this body. I want you to picture that God is life and that life is in you and death cannot live in life. And I want you to start wrapping your mind around the attributes of God and the good and live in that and be that and never accept a mixed God. You don't like to accept a lie because then your, your, uh, your life, your world will be an illusion. It will be built on a lie. Come into truth. I guarantee you, you will see heaven on earth. I live it every day. People come and all the time and visit with us and we sit down and talk. We'll talk for five, six hours sometimes. And they want 
to move in with us, but you can live this life anywhere. It don't matter if you're in town, at the beach, or up in the mountains like I am. I love the woods. I don't want to ever come out of them. Uh, but you can have this life by being in God, God in you, wherever you are. If Wherever you are, you are blessed. You are abundant. You are healthy. You are strong. You are powerful. You are free. And so I want you to just take away with this. I want you to meditate on this. If you don't meditate, you need to start. What you hold in your mind will show up in your world. I want you to know I live in God. God is good. God is omnipresent. That means my good is omnipresent. My God is here now. My good is here now. I love you guys. I'll see you on part two. God bless you.
Hello, my wonderful friends. Megas with you again, and I hope you're enjoying this series on frequency. Today, I have something very special for you, and you're going to enjoy it. But first, I want to ask you a couple questions. When you eat food, how does it turn into flesh and bone? When you cut yourself, how does it heal itself? That is your natural default and always will be until someone talks you out of it. And here's the good news. Protection, provision, success in all that you do, peace, joy. These are also your natural default, but you have been talked out of them. And today with the use of high frequency, visualization, and affirmation. I'm going to start talking your subconscious back into the truth of who you are and what you are capable of and remind you of your natural state. So take this moment right now. You can lie down or you can sit in a comfortable chair, but just allow yourself to get comfortable for the next 10, 15 minutes and go ahead and close your eyes and just start taking long deep breaths and just focus on your breathing for a moment. Feel that cool fresh air as it passes through your nose and down your throat and feel as your chest expands and as you exhale, just let all stress and tension go. Allow yourself to relax. Now with your eyes closed, gently look upward to the place between your eyebrows. And in your mind's eye, visualize a triangle. And now set your intention. I will connect with spirit. I will connect with spirit. I will connect with spirit. And now with your will, believe that you will connect with God your good. You will find your natural set point of health, of peace, of happiness, of protection, of provision. Now repeat after me in your mind. Spirit of truth, you are welcome in this place. Now gently take your gaze from the triangle of light in your mind's eye and envision inside your chest beautiful, bright star. And see this light inside of you. 
as it grows and see it filling every cell of your body, bringing health and God life and peace and joy and everywhere this light touches it transforms to light see your form now as it truly is spirit light and in this light there is no darkness there is no sickness or disease there is no pain there is no suffering in this light there is only love only good this is your natural state. Now with your will, reset to your natural state. Now see that star inside of you as it expands. Visualize it coming out from your chest and going above you and below you and in front of you and behind you. And you can expand it as far as you want. And you can bring it in as far as you want. So right now, just picture it about two or three feet all around you. And in this circle, you are completely safe. You are protected in God's light. No harm can come to you when you are in this circle. Now see yourself expanding it throughout your home and everywhere this vibration touches it brings healing and life and peace as you raise the vibration around you. Now bring it back to that star inside your chest. That is who you are. That's who you always have been and always will be. A child of God, of light. Now expand that starlight all around you even farther now. See it go for miles up into the sky, down deep into the earth, into the farthest horizons, healing all it touches.
and though we cannot override anyone else's free will, they will feel this strong, high vibration of life. They will feel the health and the love and the healing. And you are raising the consciousness of the world around you. Now bring that energy and that light back into your chest. And I want you to feel it. Feel the strength and power of it. Feel the love in it. Feel the peace in it. Take a moment to realize how good it feels to be safe and protected. Right now in this moment, realize in spirit all is well. You can relax because no harm can come to you. Nothing can harm you. Nothing can harm you. Nothing can harm you. Breathe deep. Spirit of my spirit. Hear the voice of God, Spirit of my spirit, Spirit of my spirit, Spirit of my spirit. Awake child, you are light, you are powerful and you are free. Match your vibration with the vibration of God. Feel your energy vibrating in resonance with the vibration of God. 
let that vibration take over let the three states merge into one spirit soul body one Take a long, deep breath and exhale. Take a long, deep breath and exhale. Take a long, deep breath and exhale. And feel that light. See that light, be that light. Spirit directs my thoughts. Spirit directs my words. Spirit directs my actions. Now as we come out of this meditation, you will feel at peace, you will feel protected, joyful, and you can return to this place anytime you want. You will take a long, deep breath and exhale. And you will remember that light in your chest and who you are. And when you do that, you will feel at peace because no harm can come to you for you are in the light of God. You are the light of God. Be blessed, my wonderful friends. I love you. Hello, my wonderful friends, Megas with you. And I thought we'd do our study today from my favorite meditation spot. And I'm gonna do Asha 13, my all time favorite. Good is good and bad is bad. The original word of the good religion is that all good comes from the Creator and that no evil comes from Him. From this original word 
is the spiritual world made straight and the material world brought into order. The original word of false religion is that evil comes from the Creator. And this false idea is all the evil that creatures suffer. My friends, when you realize God is all good, He's been misrepresented in many stories as hating, warring, killing, and destroying His creatures. That's impossible. The original religion, the order of the Magi, Zoroastrianism, the priest who found Jesus, they teach the all good God just like Jesus taught our Father. He's all love, all peace, and all good. And when we come into alignment with that all good God, we create Asha, heaven on earth, in our world. My friends, let's have the highest idea and live in the higher dimensions. I love you. I love you. I love you. In every way that you are, you can see it in the stars. The constellations telling stories of who we are. On the highest cloud, Who we are on the high.